G'day, Tubers. A little bit of an update. Dolt. <laughs> so, I've got these. All these things. Now, I've ordered these. Um, a lot of people have suggested that I do it. I actually ordered these over two months ago. And apparently, this is the third time that they've sent them. And I got a bunch of these. Now... The specification said it worked from 4 volts to 30 volts or something. So I thought, yeah, that'll do, that'll suit me. And it said under 4 volts, they'll still work, they'll just dim. Now, they lied. Go figure. <laughs> uh, this battery here is uh, 3.69 volt. Not only is that not dim, it's not even turning on. This one here is 3.9 something volts. Nothing. I might get a bigger battery with a big cable attached to it, and if you stay tuned, you'll work out what this is for. Um, so this is 4.2 volts. This is fully charged. One, two. And that, that works, 4.1 volts. Ah, pull the cable a little bit more so that, you can hardly see it, but you can tell that it works. So, this is an update about stuff not working. Now I had a plan, and this was the plan. I bought a whole heap of rare earth magnets, and of course, once you solder to a rare earth magnet, it's not, rare earth anymore and it's not magnetic so I don't know whether these are actually rare earth or not but I don't know but you get one of these and this is the plan this is a good plan and this is a good plan that in the last two or three months a lot of people have um, private messaged me and said in the comments below so this isn't this isn't my idea this is a, a YouTube idea so the plan was to solder that onto there look at that and then actually get a second rare earth magnet onto the back of the battery and then this rare earth magnet would click onto there you could do it with a little bit of tin or anything as well um, that would work as well so unfortunately it works at like above four volts it does work under four volts it doesn't even get dim like they said I was hoping that the fact that I only took I didn't want to take down to more than 3.5 volt um, I was hoping that it would at least still work even a little bit dim but Another idea in the toilet. I wonder what I do with 30 of these. <laughs> anyway, let's take it down to the shed and actually show you on the battery pack and just, I'll show you through my thought process. Okay, we're down here with my fifth child. And as you can see, this was the plan. It is rare earth magnet, rare earth magnet onto there. And the similar with the negative side, if I can work out where my camera is on this thing. It's not all that elegant, but it does work. And that is just stuck there with um, double-sided tape. So 4.12, I dare say if I... T so the batteries are fully charged and it's only doing 6 amps. So if I turn that off, that'll shut that down. Ah, uh, where is it? There we go, there we go. It starts to drop. So it's because it's only under, uh, only under a charge load that it's actually that high. I've got it set to 57.4 volts. Um, and if I remember correctly, that should be 4.1 per cell. Once my Sparky gets here, I'm gonna check that with his multimeter because it's nice and accurate. So that was the idea. I don't think the idea is gonna work that well. It's gonna tell me high, but it's not gonna tell me low. And because I've still got them, I might as well throw them all on and um, at least I'm going to be able to tell at a glance whether anything's gone high, which is probably a lot, lot worse than going low. So, tubers, that's all you get. I'll see you in the next one.